Today's tip is to master the one pan meal. If you're looking for a quick and healthy weekday meal, and who isn't really, then you'll want to master the one pan meal. What is the one pan meal you ask? Well, it consists of a sheet pan, a protein, a selection of vegetables, salt, herbs, or spices, and a fat. The sheet pan dinner is quick, doesn't require any expensive equipment or fancy ingredients, is easy to clean up, and with hundreds of ingredient combinations, provides a variety of healthy meals that are sure to please everyone. Here are the steps and some tips to whipping up a delicious one pan or sheet pan dinner. First, you need a sheet pan. This is a wide baking pan made from aluminum or stainless steel. It has a one inch rim which encourages airflow and browning while not allowing your ingredients to slide off the edges into the oven. Sheet pans are easy to find and run anywhere from 10 to 40 or $50. Now for the ingredients. First, you'll choose your protein. It can be poultry, beef, pork, fish, or tofu. Just choose about a quarter to three quarters of a pound per serving. Keep in mind that dark meat takes longer to cook than light and bone in longer than boneless. For example, in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven, which is the temperature at which most sheet pan dinners are cooked, bone in chicken breast cooks for about 30 to 40 minutes, while boneless is closer to 20 or 30 minutes. Next, choose your veggies. This is a great opportunity to clean out your fridge. Vegetables that are near the end of their freshness lifespan are great for roasting. Keep in mind that vegetables, especially those with high water content, cook down under high temperatures. So err on the side of extra veggies. Also ensure that your produce is cut consistently so that it cooks evenly. Larger chunks take longer to cook. Now it's time to add your flavor. You can keep it basic with a little salt and pepper or add whole spices to the pan like chili flakes, coriander seeds, fennel seeds, or whole smashed garlic cloves. You can use ground spices and spice blends in marinades, pastes, or rubs to coat your protein and veggies. The last ingredient is a fat. Fat encourages browning, which adds flavor and helps it all cook evenly. It also ensures that ingredients don't dry up while they're roasting. Choose an oil that can stand up to high heat, like olive oil, canola oil, or ghee, a type of clarified butter. Make sure you toss your protein, veggies, herbs, and spices in enough fat so that they're lightly coated. I find it easiest to do this in a big mixing bowl, then spread everything out on the pan. Speaking of which, when placing your ingredients on the pan, keep the following things in mind. Ingredients at the pan's edges cook faster than those in the middle. For even cooking, place larger pieces or dense whole veggies at the edges and smaller pieces and veggies with higher water content closer to the center. Toss things or rotate the pan halfway through cooking. Depending on what you choose, your ingredients may have different cooking times. You might want to place the pan in the oven with the slowest cooking ingredient first. Then add each ingredient in progression, ending with what cooks the fastest. And finally, if you decide to bake breaded chicken or fish, along with your vegetables, you might want to use a wire rack to raise it up above the moisture in the pan. This keeps that coating crisp and delicious. Use this same approach when you're roasting a cut of beef or pork so the juices baste the ingredients while the meat gets deliciously browned. And there you have it. One pan meals are easy to prep, simple to cook, and quick to clean up. If you're looking for a little inspiration to get started, follow the link in the show notes for one of my favorite sheet pan meals. When you master the sheet pan meal, you'll find that the delicious combination of protein, veggies, and fat 
makes a healthy, balanced meal a no-brainer on a busy weeknight. Willpower not required. Thanks so much for listening. I'd love to hear from you, so send me your tips, questions, or feedback. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Fired Up Fitness Coaching or email me at willpowernotrequired at firedupfitness.ca. Thanks so much. I look forward to connecting with you.